Hello, hello, I'm Chris with the Legacy Team, and once again, I think this will be the final variation of the baluster that we're adding details to the center cylinder section. Now, in the last video, we added some reeds using a side cutting technique. In this video, we're gonna go back to a spiraling technique, um, but this one is a, a very elegant design. We're gonna do a hollow spiral um, along the length of the cylinder section. So let's go see how that's done on the Maverick CNC system. This entire demonstration will be done on the Turning Workstation, which is a module that can be added to the Maverick E-Series at any time. Normally the dust chute is closed to contain all the sawdust during the machining processes. However, here we open it up so that you can see all the cutting action. All the cutters used throughout this entire cutting demonstration are from Magnate.net. Since this video is focusing on a variation of an existing spindle design that we did in a previous video, we're going to be going through the first two cutters pretty quick. Um, if you want to see those broken down into greater detail and close-up shots where you have a, a better understanding of what's going on with the surfacing cutter and the tapered ball cutter, I recommend checking out the video. Turning technique contour turning from a photo part three so after we duplicated the process of the previous spindle of turning it round with the surfacing cutter and doing the contour sections with the eighth inch taper ball cutter now we're ready to proceed to adding the hollow spiral details to the center section of this existing baluster design similar to the other spiral videos that we've done for this baluster the hollow spiral receives two turned profiles on both ends so that we have a smooth transition going along the entire length. Now, unlike all the other variants that we've created for this baluster, this one requires two cutters to create the hollow spiral effect. First is the same one and a half inch barley twist cutter that we used in a previous design. However, this time, instead of cutting a single start that spirals around itself, this is now going to turn a three start spiral. Throughout this process of cutting the hollow spiral, we're gonna see that the part becomes a lot more delicate the further on that we go. To ensure we minimize chatter marks and any chance of breaking, we programmed using Legacy's conversational cam software to take it not just in two passes, but four passes for each spiral start. Now we're ready to hollow out the center of this barley twist section. Here we're using a quarter inch up spiral cutter and we've shifted the start and ending of the hollowing slightly in so we're not piercing at the very beginning and end of the spiral. This cutter is also taking four passes to get down below the center of rotation of the material. Because the stock began at 1.5 inches in diameter, theoretically to pierce the hollow for the stock, we simply need to plunge three quarters of an inch to get from the top surface down to the center of our spindle. The barley twist cutter removed three eighths of that material already, and so this quarter inch cutter simply needs to remove an additional three eighths of material to hollow out the entire part. Just like the barley twist cutter, this is also taking four passes at delicate speeds to ensure that we minimize vibrations, chatter, and any chance of actually breaking the part during the machining process. Even though this technique looks advanced and difficult to produce, Legacy's Conversational Cam Pro software makes this extremely simple with a one toolpath process. To support our customers and those interested in learning about CNC before they invest in one, we offer online workshops that cover all of these types of details and much more. Even though it took two cutters to add this delicate detail to our baluster design, it still took less than 12 minutes to add to our existing design. And there we have it. I love how by using the two separate cutters of the barley twist and either a straight or spiral cutter to hollow it out, we can create a really elegant design in a matter of minutes. Again, Legacy's conversational cam software makes this extremely easy and fast to produce. And so if you're interested in learning more about a Legacy CNC and what it can do for you, I recommend you visit our website at LegacyWoodworking.com. Now, if you have any questions and would like to talk to a CNC expert, uh, you can always call 801-491-0010. You can also leave any comments or questions down below. Now, if you'd like to see more turning and cutting demonstrations on the Maverick CNC system, just click right over there. 
Uh, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, check that notification box so that you can be notified when new videos like this come out. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.